planner friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I'm going to be doing my plan with me video for the week of 4th of July. And you can probably guess what theme I'm going to do for my weekly spread. I did a 4th of July spread for my monthly last year. So I thought I'd mix it up and do a weekly spread this year. Um, and I have quite a bit of stuff that I'm going to be using. Um, quite a bit of stickers. Um, these stickers I got at Hobby Lobby. These ones I got at Tuesday morning a little while ago. I've got some star stickers. I've got quite a bit of washi tape that I'm going to try to incorporate. Not sure how all that's going to incorporate, but I've got some washi tape. Um, this I bought at Tuesday morning, um, probably a couple months ago. And I just saw it and picked it up because I thought it was really cute. It had a lot of great 4th of July stickers. I got this at the scrapbooking convention in Anaheim a while back. And then um, just some other stickers that I had from last year. And then the paper that I think I'm going to be using is going to be this paper. So I have a blue solid, a white and red stripe, and then a starred foiled um, sheet too as well. So I think I'm going to see what's going to happen. I have an idea. We'll see if it's going to work out and be... Um, what I'm expecting in my head sometimes it comes up with stuff and then sometimes I can't execute it but hopefully I'll be able to execute it this time so stick around and see what I do I decided to start this plan with me a little bit differently because I wanted to focus on the 4th of July since my whole theme was based on that and I have this washi tape and I'm pretty sure I got this washi tape at the Dollar Tree um, it's got just the red and white stripes and the reason why I think it's the Dollar Tree washi is because it's kind of a paper washi. It's not like a tape washi. I don't know if that makes any sense, but if you guys have ever gotten Dollar Tree washi, you would know what I mean. It's kind of more like paper tape than washi. So anyway, what I'm doing here is I am just going to try to see if I can get all of these um, lines to line up so that it kind of resembles the American flag. So the stripes on the American flag. So I had to trim it down a little bit because it was only only two fit into the box. And then once I got it on there, um, I had to peel up that middle layer because it wasn't quite right. It was, of course, bugging me. So I got the middle or the outside edges and then I was able to pick another piece. And then I got that piece laid down right. And then of course it was off center again, so I had to peel it back up. And the thing with this washi tape, it didn't peel very good, so it did kind of rip my page a little bit, but it's okay when you got the stickers on and you didn't, couldn't even tell. And so what I did here was I went ahead and just laid it down and then I took my X-Acto knife and I actually went along the edge. It was easy to do because it was aligned. So I just followed the line of the washi tape and then I just took off a little bit of the edge. And like I said, it wasn't the easiest thing to peel up, but I was able to finally get it off and get it all on there. And I think that looks really cool. And then I had some of this starred washi tape and no clue where I got this. It might have been Target, Dollar Spot, but I'm not sure. Anyway, so I went ahead and put a couple of strips of the star washi on the one side and then kind of trimmed it up so it looks like the American flag. Okay, so then I went ahead and put the star silver foiled paper on the side panel and then I have this glitter washi tape that I believe is, um, it's from Heidi Swap, I believe, and I got it on sale after Christmas so I thought I'm going to go ahead and use that it actually fits in the box perfectly. So I thought that was really cool. And I got some silver um, washi tape and I just wanted to outline the flag to kind of make it a little bit more prominent. So I decided that I was gonna outline it in silver and I did cut the washi tape in half just because I felt like it was a little too thick. And then when I cut it in half, I actually cut it unevenly in half. 
So I just put both sides on there just to see what side I'd like better. And I did like the thinner um, side of the washi. So then I went ahead and just um, cut another piece to make the other side as thin as the um, side that's on there now. All right, so once I get that on, eventually, I'm just gonna go ahead and outline the whole entire um, flag. So I kind of thought maybe I'd only do the out the right and left side, but then I decided just to go ahead and outline the whole thing. And I think that kind of just pops it off the page a little bit, which I wanted, to, that's what I wanted to do. All right, so what am I gonna do next? Okay, yeah, now I decided I wanted to go ahead and use that glitter washi tape, but I didn't want to fill the whole entire line with it. So a row with it, I should say, or column. It's a column, not a row. So I decided to just trim it so that it only fit in the, the last two boxes. And then I wanted to go ahead and put some on the outside panel as well. And I'm gonna add some additional washi to that to kind of take away from all of that glitter. But um, yeah, so that's kind of what it's gonna look like. And then I decided I wanted to add a little bit more of that silver um, foiled star paper. So I just trimmed up a little piece to put in the side panel or the Monday column. All right, so just kind of figuring out the design here. And then once I get everything done, I'm gonna go ahead and put some washi down at the bottom because obviously I could not leave that washi or that design at the bottom. And then I did put some red down first just to kind of, because the white stars are a little bit see-through. So I didn't want it to see through the green. I'd rather it see through the red. So I just put some red down and then I decided not to go all the way to the edge with it because um, I thought I'd probably put a sticker there. So then I just decided to go ahead and run just halfway through and make a little flag. And then on this side, I'm just gonna run the whole, um, I thought I was gonna do that on this side too, but then I realized that the design on this side of the page was way more different than the other one so I just ran the whole thing across it to cover up all that design. Alright so now I'm going to go ahead and put down this washi tape. Like I said it filled the box completely and then I got my blue dots square runner here and I decided to go ahead and put that on there on the side panel or the weekend panel I should say. And then on the Monday day, I just put a little bit of glue dots on that side, and then I went ahead and that that's what it's going to look like. And then I decided that I wanted to go ahead and put this, like I said, the glitter washi tape. And then I decided that I was going to put some washi tape just to kind of take away from all that redness. But unfortunately, that glitter washi tape and washi tape do not stick together. So what I ultimately ended up doing was taking the strips and I used my glue dots to adhere the washi tape down. I know that sounds weird, but I basically took the runner and I just ran a strip down the the panel there and then I um, was able to get the glue dot to stick. And now it's going to be sticker time.
Now I'm going to go ahead and plan a little bit. I do have a dinner scheduled for Wednesday night with a friend of mine. So I went ahead and put that one in there. And then on Thursday, we have a planner meetup at Michael's, which I'm excited about. I wasn't able to go last week, so I'm excited about going to that. And then on actually Saturday, I have a game day for my board gaming group. And I accidentally put it on Sunday, but it was actually on Saturday. And I do figure that out and move that sticker. So you'll see that kind of at the end of the this part. And then my mom's birthday is on the 9th. I'm excited about that. And then I have a, um, what's on Saturday? Oh, I have camp training on Saturday. Actually, the camp training is also on Sunday. So I'm all confused. <laughs> so I'll have to make a little arrow <laughs> pointing to the Saturday. And now that I just realized I put that on the wrong day. No biggie. All right, I put some to-dos down there on Monday. Gotta get the laundry done. And then I, my goal for Friday is to do my plan with me because I'm so busy this weekend. And that is really all that I've done for my planning so far. Then I'm gonna go ahead and work on my journal card. So I grabbed those, that sticker pack that I got from Tuesday morning that I showed you at the beginning. And I just made a journal card using the stickers because they were all so pretty and I just wanted to use them all up. So I decided to just use that um, star paper and just make a journal card from it. And you'll see there a piece of paper sitting there is from the Mambi sheets. It's just one of their notebook sheets. So I wanted to go ahead and use that to use for the actual journaling part. So I just took my glue dots runner here and I'm just gonna adhere that on to the back of that paper. And when I did this, I wanted to make sure that I had a dot on each of the um, whole sections. So that's what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of putting a dot on each one of those things so that when I put it down, I can line up the holes and then um, ensure that it gets inhered on there good. Once it got inhered on there, I went ahead and just trimmed around to cut off the excess, and then I rounded the corners with my corner rounder. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make a really quick paper clip here. I have those little, I don't know, what, pinwheel things, stickers that I got, I believe at the Target, Target Dollar Spot last year. Um, and what I basically did was I just took a paper clip. It has a sticky part on it already, but then I took a pop dot from Glue Dots and I'm running out of those, I need some more. Um, but I took some of those and I just put that on the back between the paper clip and the sticky part. And then I took another sticky off the one of the other ones because I knew I wasn't gonna use it. Um, and I just adhered that on there and. It's stuck together and there's my paper clip. So it's pretty simple and easy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn and get it into my planner. I think it turned out really cute. I'm, it's kind of weird because it's not very symmetrical, but I think it still works. I think it has enough of the different colors in it and I think it works together. So that is what my planner spread looks like for the 4th of July spread and I hope that you enjoyed. I'll go ahead and leave my monthly in the top if you want to go ahead and check out my monthly from last year. All right, bye. Thank you.